love to encourage you for the next couple of days about history and how we can learn from it. There's two ways. And you may be thinking, ah, history is just boring. I don't need this. But there are two ways that we can always do better today when we learn a little bit of history. And one is we look back and we can go, man, they just they just totally failed. If only they would have done this. Or if only they wouldn't have done that. Things would have gone better. And we can learn from that. The other way is to look back and to go, wow, they totally nailed that. How did they do that? What was it that they did right? What was it that they didn't do that allowed them to have the time and the energy to do that right thing? You know why you can do that by studying history. Right now at our church, Morrison Hill Christian Church, we're actually going back over the history of the church. We're obviously still studying the Bible the whole time, but part of it, part of what we're talking about is history of the church, trying to learn in those two ways. What did the church, the church, get wrong over time? And how can we not repeat those mistakes? How can we own them and admit them and confess them, but fix them, not keep doing them? But also, what did the church over time get right? How could we get it even better if we just look at it with honest eyes? And here's what I encourage you today. There's probably something even at the end of today that you'll look back on and go, man, I wish I wouldn't have done it that way. I could have done it better this way. We'll change that tomorrow. There's probably something at the end of today that you'll look back on and say, man, that's where I nailed it. I just wish I could do that every day. We'll do it every day. Start tomorrow. Start today. Make that commitment today. God bless you.